Today sees the curtain come down on another Isthmian League Premier Division season as Dulwich Hamlet welcome Margate. Dulwich shuffled the pack on Thursday but produced another three points as for the second time in eight days. And Anthony Achenpong goal earned a win at Fetcham Grove, this time against Kingstonian. Naren Kunis makes his 400th appearance for Dulwich today, returning to the starting 11 in one of seven changes. Margate have been in a wretched run of form of late with just one win in the last 11 games. They need nothing less than a win today, combined with a late in defeat and a seven goal swing in their favour to make the final playoff place. And Steve Watt opts to keep the same lineup which lost last time out against Billericay. The visitors will draw optimism from the reverse game in January in which they won, but can they achieve the improbable? Or will it be the Hamlet going into the playoffs with six wins in a row? Towards the far post it comes, nodded back across the, towards the penalty spot. Blackman couldn't get a shot in, so it goes wide again to Colin. Second ball in is looking pretty good as well. Half a touch from Chambers, Blackman will shoot now. It's blocked by Ferguson, Essenman's got time to steady himself. Palmed away by Tangara, back into the danger zone and Chambers volleys clear. First save here the goalkeeper's had to make this afternoon. It's uh, a strong palm away by Amadou Tangara. Sat up nicely for George Essenman to go for goal. Chidozi well, looks to run at Ricky Howes now Jordan Chidozi direct kind of player away from the Dulles centre back great challenge by Cargwell that's a real thunderous one on Chidozi taking no prisoners there the Dulles number four Chidozi's hurt himself with that challenge actually Clunis just uh, out muscled and can't poke it on to Ming still feeling the effect yep referee has signalled for the Margate physio to enter the field One in playoff game, that could be a big uh, thing if there's a bobble. Could be the difference between a team going up and a team missing out on uh, promotion. You never know. Mistakes are so much bigger in playoffs. And Cargwell gives that away. There goes May. Blackman ahead of him. May may see this himself. He does. And it's straight at Tangara. <laughs> Easy one again for Amadou Tangara. May got the power in the shot, but again, straight at the Dulwich custodian Alassani on the goal line Ferguson will also be in the penalty area Cargbo looks like he might make a run Crew sends in over Ferguson Cargbo should retrieve here Crew set pieces have led to a lot of goals in recent times for Dulwich Cargbo with a bit of skill sends in the second cross Clunis I don't think he got a touch in the end if he did it was very faint still alive with Ferguson now Carew Player still in the penalty area for him. Nice pass. Alassani, corner kick. Dulwich with their best attack so far. A couple of good balls into the penalty area. The second one in particular from Cargbo. Maybe Clunis should have nodded goalwards. They have won another corner. Match winner on uh, Thursday with an assist, Carew. Setting up Achim Pong. Picked up by Carew. Away from May, away from Colin, away from Blackman as well. Lovely trickery for Ashley Curry. Was pulled back by Sam Blackman there. That's him in his pomp. Alassani. Oh, and he gets away from Esselman. What an attack. This is from Dulwich. Deserves a goal at the end of it. Alassani, Clunis. Well, that was wonderful football until the finish from Clunis. Both Carew and Alassani showing what they can do when they're on song. Carew got away from three players to start off that attack. Alassani wriggle past a couple more. And if Clunis had put that in, that would be one of the goals of the season. Made a couple of action pong winners in recent times from set pieces. What can he do here? Pretty deep one. Hale's arriving. Got his foot on it. But it just guides it away from goal in the end. Crew again. Told to shoot by the crowd. Sends it in. Easily dealt with. No height in that Ashley Crew cross. Beanie inside. Carew. Midfield three on the part now that played so many minutes together last season. Abrahams into Tomlin. Usually good with his control. He is there as well. Nice drag back. Sends in the cross. Akinyemi arrives. Saved by Pidgeley. Got down well Lenny Pidgeley. Akinyemi maybe though could have found the corner. Almost an immediate goal off the bench for the substitute. Great work from Gavin Tomlin. He's the kind of player always looks like he's having a bit of fun out there. Comes the cross. 
It's headed off. It's an own goal. I think Chambers may well have got the touch in there. Essenman wheels away in celebration. Margate take the lead here at the KNK. Dollinger dealt pretty well with set pieces today. Essenman, though, heads home. Too little, too late in their season in their bid to reach the playoffs. But uh, Essiman wheeled away in celebration. Can you hear me again being a nuisance? Wins it off Rogers fairly, says the referee. Good work rate from Akinyemi. He's gone for goal on the tight angle. Maybe it would have been better to look up and try and find Gavin Tomlin on the far post. Abrahams is going to produce one of his long throws here. Means Chambers will stay forward. Dull is using this as a set piece. Headed on by Winter into his goalkeeper's arms. Could have flown anywhere that from Tom Winter. Pidgeley dives on the loose ball. Long ball, Akinyemi will chase half-heartedly. Pidgeley taking a gamble, Akinyemi almost nicking off him. Dulles have a throw, Pidgeley under enough pressure from Akinyemi to be forced into a mistake. There's a lot of bodies to aim at. A lot of power in the cross. Esselman collided with his own man and puts part in front of the corner. I think Rogers would have dealt with it in any case. Another set piece then. Crew waving, Ming away. Hales, Weatherstone, Chambers, Akinyemi, Tomlin, Abrahams, Cargbo, Beanie all in the mix. In by Carew. Hales gets up. Chambers is there. Michael Chambers equalises. Excellent finish in the end. It was an awkward one to hook home. Chambers obliges though. Dulwich restore parity. It was a great ball in by Carew. I think Hales made a noose of himself. It came to Chambers. Controlled on the chest. Volleys into the top corner. Vara deflection. Dulwich back on level terms. What a goal! Margate are readying a third change. Crew. Tomlin. Lazy touch from Gavin Tomlin. Maybe perhaps that was a bit of a wild swing. He didn't get the ball with all the man. If he had got the man, he would have been booked there. Hales, oh, that's sloppy. Is it going to go in? Hales has done so well there. He's taken a whack against the post for his troubles. Tracking back, Solis felt he was fouled by Tangara, who's down in a heap. <laughs> Hales has prevented the goal. Real pace shown, desire to make sure they weren't going to concede a second goal. But uh, the concern now is for Amadou Tangara. <laughs> Tangara had caught uh, Solis, I think, on the way through as well. And he's been booked for his protests. Concern now for Dulwich, though. That's to see at the game with 10 men if Tangara can't continue. Yellow cards. I think it might have been shown to um, Blackman there as well. So I think Tangara may well have clipped Solis. You have to credit the work Ricky Hales put in there. He could have taken a bit of a nasty injury, hitting the post with the speed he did. Game against Leatherhead recently. Harlow, early in the season, that point at Hendon came deep in injury time as well. Nice to have one more. Let's add to that uh, list. Ming with half a touch. Colin forward. Hales has put that past Tangara for a corner. No call there between Tangara and Hales. Bodkin got to come back a couple of yards. Abraham's called it early, heads it on. Carew behind Akinyemi though. Blackman almost trodden the ball. Bodkin. There's a full time whistle. Dulwich avoid defeat on the final day of the season. They had to come from behind here against Margates. It was a goal. 
from Michael Chambers in the 79th minute, hooking home a volley from an Ashley Carew corner, which brought them level. They had fallen behind. A free kick from Franny Collin on the far side of the field was uh, headed home by George Esserman. There was a moment of uh, controversy late on as Margate thought they should have had a penalty. Sid Solis sending a shot goalwards, maybe caught by Amadou Tangara. But uh, Ricky Hales, in any case, had uh, blocked the shot on the line, tracking back. It was a game that felt like a, an end of season game in many ways for a lot of the afternoon. Margate didn't do enough to uh, really push for that final promotion, uh, sorry, final playoff spot. They will miss out. Dulwich go in to uh, Thursday's game against Leyston here, unbeaten in their final six games of the season. Final score at the K and K then. As Dulwich record their highest league finish since 1959 is uh, Dulwich Hamlet 1, Margate 1. Gavin, whilst it didn't extend the uh, winning run today, nice that we didn't uh, lose our final game of the season. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I thought Margate can count themselves unfortunate. Obviously, we know it's a long season, um, but they're a very good team. Um, I think a very <coughs> a team good enough to play in the league above. Um, and they, they were a better team today. Um, obviously, for us, a little bit mentally difficult uh, to get yourself up for a game like this, where we know that we're we've got to think about Thursday but I think um, we showed a little bit more pride in the second half just to get ourselves uh, back in the game and make it competitive. Did you feel there were a few too many mistakes during the course of the game, a few lapses of concentration that obviously you got to iron out before Thursday? No, I think the circumstances of the game um, being one that we don't literally have to win um, just meant that the mentality wasn't great um, at times and sort of uh, some of the standard of our play today was just because of that. Um, <clears throat> Not great, but obviously it is a reality. Um, we've done fantastically well to finish in the playoffs uh, with two games to spare. Um, and obviously now we focus on, on, on Thursday night. Obviously you're going to go down wasn't great, but you've shown that if it did, does happen on Thursday night, you've got yourself back into the game. There was good determination to make sure we didn't lose today by going and get that equaliser. Yeah, it's not always plain sailing. The last few games, um, we, we beat Folkestone 3-0, but we've um, had late comebacks in the games before that. Um, to, to, to achieve anything, it ain't always going to be easy. I think um, Billy Ricky will probably say the same. It's not easy to win anything or achieve anything. The game doesn't always go the way you want it to go. Um, so sometimes you need personalities and characters who can change the game. Um, <clears throat> or whether it be through technical ability or just sheer desire and heart. Do you have a team in mind for Thursday yet or will you assess for training session beforehand? Yeah, obviously the last two games that we've played, uh, Kingstone and, and today, we've had a look at everyone. Um, and just uh, any last little doubts we may have has been concluded by the last two games. Uh, so as much as uh, there was nothing to play for, there was for me in junior just to um, have a clear idea of who we feel should play the games in, and go from there. Vast experience in the playoffs over the years. What can you take from previous experiences going into these uh, game Thursday night and hopefully beyond? Yeah, we just worry about Thursday night, to be honest with you, because um, it's a one-off. Um, we play least and they're a very good team. Um, who have proven to be a good team over the last few years. Um, so we need to try and get past them. Um, we know that will be hard, so we'll set ourselves up properly. Um, and if we can be fortunate enough to get past them, then we'll think about the next game, but not, not before that. It certainly feels like a squad that's got the characters to go on and do things this year. Yeah, definitely. We've, we've got character, we've got ability. Um, but, you know, it, it falls down another one game or two games now. So um, it's not always just about how good everyone is. It's just about um, <clears throat> some bit, sometimes a bit of luck and, and game management, uh, being clinical at the right times. So we'll see how we go.